Giovanni Letford briefly met the prince and his fiancée, Meghan Markle, when they visited Represent Radio Station in Brixton, South London on Tuesday. 28-year-old DJ slipped the engaged royal a card with his contact details on it. Prince Harry smiled as he put the DJ's card in his suit jacket pocket. Mr. Letford mapped out his plans for how he would entertain the guests on GMB at the royal wedding and even has plans to get the Queen up dancing. A cheeky DJ who slipped his business card to Prince Harry has made his pitch to play at his wedding, and vowed to get the Queen on the dance floor. Giovanni Letford briefly met the Prince and his fiancée, Meghan Markle, when they visited Represent Radio Station in Brixton, South London on Tuesday. And the 28-year-old slipped the engaged royal a card with his contact details on it, telling him, I'll DJ at your wedding. Prince Harry smiled as he put the DJ's card in his suit jacket pocket. Mr. Letford mapped out his plans for how he would entertain the guests at the royal wedding and even has plans to get the Queen up dancing. Appearing on Good Morning Britain, co-host Susanna Reid, said, Do you know what? If they don't hire you, they're crazy. It sounds like you've got it all planned. You've got the experience and you know exactly what you do at every moment of the set. And to get the Queen on the dance floor, what would you play? Mr. Letford replied, I'd probably do a remix of the National Anthem and whoever sits down at the National Anthem. Ms. Reid remarked, Guaranteed to get everyone on the dance floor. Speaking about his plans for the whole event, Mr. Letford said he would start with Beyonce and Luther Vandross The closer I get to you for the first dance and end with journeys don't stop believing. He said, I think with this wedding it's quite unique. There would have to be an element of tradition but I would throw in a few surprises as well. The first song is quite a romantic song and talks about two people getting together, two people from different sides of the world. That's quite a good song to cement their union. I'd probably play This Is How We Do It, to get the party started. I can image Her Royal Highness doing a two-step to it as well. The last song would be Don't Stop Believing. Some people say the first impression and last impression is what counts. Nobody really cares what's in the middle. I've had weddings where we have a mix and they've performed a dance routine. I've done a flash mob where the groom had no idea what was happening and everyone did the Harlem Shake. Speaking after handing his business card to Prince Harry on Tuesday, Mr. Letford told Mail Online, Prince Harry took the card and said OK, and put it in his pocket. He added, Prince Harry if you're reading this, getting me to DJ at your wedding. It will be the second best decision you've ever made in your life, after asking Meghan to marry you. A video of Mr. Letford handing his car over was later viewed around the world and he said he was inundated with offers to play other gigs. He wrote on, completely shocked and honoured by the global support I've received since handing my business card to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. At the very least, this is a lesson to anyone. You'll always get a no if you don't ask. A petition has since been set up to get Mr. Letford the gig, with more than 100 people signing it in less than a day. Mr. Letford said he already has some songs in mind for a wedding reception playlist and would kick off the party with This Is How We Do It by Montel Jordan. He also told BBC Newsbeat he would also play some songs from the west coast of the US, in a nod to Meghan, who was born in Los Angeles. The royal couple, 
who are due to marry on May 19 at Windsor Castle, went to the heart of London's Caribbean community for their first official visit in the capital on tea.